Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in my previous video, we have discussed about how to set up the Swagger with the help of Spring Dog Open API, right? So this Swagger has so many benefits like, you know, we can do lots of request response validations directly from the Swagger instead of doing it from the other applications, right? So uh, the another question rises is like, how can I control this based on the different environments? Especially, you know, I don't want it to, you know, enable this in the production environment because if you see here, this is my, uh, this is my uh, URL, right? So let's say, uh, let me put this into some notepad. Okay. Something like this, okay? This is localhost 8087, right? Let's say my uh, production environment would be like, uh, something like uh, learning.corp.com okay something like this is my production environment if you simply add swagger hyphen index.html then that person can easily see all the APS that is not secured right because anyone can really open your swagger and they can play around so which is also not a good way so how do I control this based on the environment okay so uh, here we'll use the concept of profiling in spring boot let's see that so uh, this is not there as of now application only one profile is there right so what i will do is i'll create couple of profiles here like so we have three different kinds of profile available dev test and prod environment so let me get iPhone dev dot properties. Similarly, let me create for test and prod as well. Application iPhone uh, test dot properties. And let me open prod as well. So application iPhone prod dot properties so there were four were right there now let's play with uh, dev first okay so first of all I have enabled here so let me remove in the main application dot properties now in the dev what I will do is I will simply use spring doc dot swagger iPhone UI dot enabled is equal to let me enable this in the dev environment now let me in the production environment i will try to disable it so simply use spring doc uh, dot swagger iphone ui dot enabled is equal to false right so this is a command to enable or disable your swagger from application.properties. Here I am using open API guys. I have already prepared a separate video as well. So I am not considering test here. I am only considering two profiles. First one is dev where I have set up the, uh, sorry, in dev I have enabled and in a prod I have, I need to disable in the prod, okay. In dev I have enabled in the production I have disabled okay now what I will do is here spring dot profiles active you see this one okay here I will keep dev okay now what will happen is this profile will be activated dev profile and I, I am enabling the swagger here okay when I am running next time I will enable the prod profile and then we'll see how the result will be okay this entire thing open api setup and all i have prepared in another video guys hopefully you have watched that as well now i have started executing now watch carefully here watch carefully here see here the following profile is active which is dev okay so dev profile is active now now it is it is started started a server 
now simply and my server is running at 8087 here okay so simply i go here 8087 swagger iphone new slash index.html and my swagger is up and running right this is good now let me close this again and go to the application properties here spring.profiles.active now you change it to prod now what happens is this is a prod profile that means when i am deploying into the production what i will do i will set up this profile and i will do the build then i will deploy that in the production server right so this is pointed to prod profile now it is go to the prod and here you could see here that swagger profile is false that means it is not enabled now right so what should happen for us is ideally run as spring boot app now you could see here the following profile is active which is prod okay the prod environment is active here right that's good now if i go here and i will re-execute this now you could see it is not enabled right so this is how we can enable or disable the swagger based on a different environment i hope this video is informative to you guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me